coffee is an experience, okay? It's very personal and everybody has a way that they like their coffee. If you like a dark roast, it's so good, so good. Um... Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope that you are all doing very wonderful. So today's video is gonna be fun. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I have been purchasing lately. I've got TJ Maxx, of course. I have Ross, I have Kohl's, I have Ulta. We'll see how much I can get through in this video. I might have to make it a two-parter, but we'll see. But first things first, on my eyes. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Hutopian Dream Palette. I did recently purchase this because it was restocked and she was having a 30% off sale. So anytime Pat McGrath has a sale, I generally jump on it. Um, but this is what I have on my eyes today. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. I've talked about Pat McGrath before. You guys know my love for Pat McGrath and her formula, especially her special um, glitter formulas that she has. I mean, look at that shift of color. Just stunning. What I have on my lips, I'll tell you about in a little bit. Also from Pat McGrath, I did pick up a blush as well from her. This is the blush color Cherish, and it is a, let me swatch it for you. Very, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Very pigmented, gorgeous. It is not what I have on my cheeks today. Um, I have a different Pat McGrath, um, and I will list everything below. But without further ado, let's get into what I've been purchasing. So why don't I go with Ulta first? A few things that I got from Ulta. First thing I got is the e.l.f. Um, Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black. I have talked about this in previous videos. It is a liquid liner that I do love using. It is what I have on my eyes today. I don't know if you can see it with my false lashes. By the way, false lashes, BH Cosmetics, number 204. You can find these in TJ Maxx. That's where I got mine. Th these I actually bought a few months ago, but I have seen them there. So I'm sure if you can see the liner um, with all, the, with all the, the makeup on, but I do love this particular formula and I do like the, um, the tip of it is a brush. It's not a felt tip. So I feel like it glides over my eyes a lot better than a felt tip. It doesn't catch on maybe a piece of glitter or an eyelash that may be growing in a weird spot um, or any kind of wrinkles or whatever that I do have on my eyelids. So I do like this a lot. Pick that up. I did mention this also in another video just recently, um, makeup that I've been loving right now, some favorites. This is Arian Beauty and it is a liquid eyeshadow and it's very very pretty and it's in the color experiment look how gorgeous that is let me turn my light off real quick see how pretty that is and I did use this in a video also but I've been enjoying that a lot also, another thing that I got is this kit, um, Not Your Mother's Curls. It's the Curl Top To Go. This set comes with um, the cream, which is right here. That's two fluid ounces, 160 milligrams, 160 milliliters. Um, Curl Talk Activating Mousse, and that's in two ounces, 56 grams. And then the Curl Talk... Um, sculpting gel that's two ounces um 60 milliliters i do have curly hair um i have not washed my hair in probably i hate to even admit this probably eight or nine days um my hair is wavy to curly so if you guys want to see how i take care of my curls um and how i kind of 
do my hair and how I use these products, let me know below. I'll do a tutorial for you. But I got this, this was only $10. You can get all these products for $10 and I don't mind buying the, the mini sizes because like I said, I generally I do wash my hair about every five or six days. But I don't know what it was that I was been doing these past few days. I just haven't washed my hair. I'm going to wash my hair today. I promise. Um, I did buy some dry shampoo. I think that's why I purposely waited to wash my hair. I did buy some dry shampoo from TJ Maxx, which actually I am going to show you now that I'm thinking about why I didn't wash my hair. So don't think I'm gross. Um, anyway, so I got that. So that's that for Ulta at the moment. I'm in, let's do Ross really quick. Let's see, what did I get from Ross? I think Ross was mostly just some clothes. So I did get this shirt. Isn't it cute? So it looks like that. Just a t-shirt. But I really liked this, like the pink camo. Isn't it just so cute? $14.99, so it was a little bit more than what I usually wanna pay for a t-shirt, but it is very, very cute. So I'm sure I'll probably be wearing that in a video in the future, in the near future. Also, I got a blue, just a basic blue tank top, but it's a shorter one and it's got like these little ties. So I don't have this type of stomach that I could wear a short tank top like this, like a midriff. I would wear a tank top underneath this. So I got a white tank top, <laughs> just a white. Wait, this is from Walmart. This one's from Walmart. Some, for some reason, I just put it in my Ross bag, but I did buy a tank top from Ross. A basic white tank top, but it's pretty long as you can see. So it'll cover my stomach when I wear this blue little midriff tank top but summertime the blue and the white it's gonna look pretty pair of jeans a pair of shorts put some flats on put some you know uh, flip-flops on oh who cares put some heels on why not right anyways it, it'll all look really cute together so what else did i buy from ross oh okay these shorts you guys all right these shorts okay are so comfortable. They're the brand Enduro, and you can see I paid $5.99 for them, but they are soft, and they got an elastic waist, as you can see. Mine's in the size large to extra large, um, but man, they are so comfortable. I do they're a little bit short, um, so I wear them around the house. I do have another pair, um, black ones that I do work out in, uh, because they don't, um, rub up against my legs. They don't get caught on anything. Um, they're not in the way, like they're not like rubbing up and on my knees and stuff like that, or catching on my knees. Um, so very, very, very comfy. $5.99. They had different colors too. They had gray. I did buy a gray pair. They uh, had like an orange. I wish they had a pink. I would have bought a pink. But anyways, super comfy. If you see these in Ross, worth it. All right. So I think that's my Ross haul. I'm getting through this pretty quickly, which is good, but we'll see. I got a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx. Y'all know, uh, you know, TJ Maxx, you can really get lost in that store and buying stuff. So let me move on to Kohl's. So for Kohl's, in their clearance section, now I've worn shirts like this before and I actually talked about a shirt like this. It's just a green and you can wear it off the shoulder or you can wear it on top of the shoulders. This is Nine West and normally $36, okay? It was on sale for $9, plus I had Kohl's cash, plus I had a 15% off coupon, so it only ended up being like $7.50. From, it was from $36, so I bought this one. I have a black one, and then I have one with like flowers on it. And I also purchased a pink one as well. I was like, why not? 
you know, they're so nice. They're comfortable. Um, they're long enough. See how they're tapered at the waist. I would try these clothes on for you guys, but I don't know. I'm a little shy. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm ready for all that yet, but if you guys insist on me wearing them, I will make it happen. Okay. I'm not overly shy that I don't want to put clothes on for you, um, or model them. Um, I think it's more of like, because I'm still new to YouTube, do I want the whole world to see my goods? I don't know. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. I don't know. But anyways, this is um, long enough that you don't have to wear a tank top underneath or another shirt. Like you could, but you don't have to. I don't. 75% off. Normally $36 and it was nine bucks. But like I said, with the coupons and my Kohl's cash, it ended up being pretty cheap. I did get some hair ties from Kohl's cute right uh normally ten dollars eighty percent off so it was two bucks what the heck is on my hand here I got like pink stuff on my fingers probably makeup i don't know where it came from um cute i bought another set a pink one and a brown one again they were ten dollars normal price um but on sale or clearance they were two dollars for, for the boat for the pack a little bit of jewelry from them you know i have to buy some jewelry so lauren conrad it's a necklace it's got that type of back lauren conrad as you can see normally 16 dollars. it was 70 percent off so the price for 80 and I did get earrings to match it. Here are the earrings to match. So normally 16 bucks down to four. And of course I had the coupon. So here's the set together. Cute. She's got wonderful stuff. I love Lauren Conrad. I love her jewelry. Um, I like her clothes. She's just got great stuff. I also bought this ring from Kohl's. Um, Lauren Conrad. It's three. It's three separate rings, but it came as a set. And I did pay around four bucks for that as well. Also, these earrings from Lauren Conrad. Let's see. Turn on my light. These earrings, as you can see, 16 bucks down to four. And then, can you guys see them? Oh, I did buy a Vera Wang purse from Kohl's. Let me go get it. Here's the Vera Wang purse that I got. Isn't it adorable? It is so nice. And it's got a nice long um, strap. And on the inside, looks like that. And this little pocket. But I love Vera Wang. I, I paid, I think, $21 for this. Um, it was on clearance for probably like 29 and then with my discounts and stuff. So, but very, very, I mean, Vera Wang, you can't go wrong with Vera Wang. She has such great stuff. Yeah. Let's get into TJ Maxx because of course y'all know I frequent TJ Maxx probably twice a week. Um, cause they have great stuff. Not everything is makeup though. I bought some other home good kind of stuff. One of which is, um, not home goods, but it's a shirt. But this shirt I got from TJ Maxx, adorable. It's got like a little tie here, comes up on the neck. It's just so pretty. It's kind of got um, like a silky type of, type of material. Um, super, super cute. It was 20 bucks. It was not on clearance, not on sale. It's a little bit more than what I wanna pay for a t-shirt, but I figured it would look really pretty in a video, um, especially with this particular makeup and I was just, I'm drawn to these colors. I really, really like these colors. So I got that. Also, pull my bags over. Coffee. Okay. I love, love, love this coffee from Starbucks. Their Cafe Verona is so delicious. And now I love black coffee. Coffee is an experience. Okay. It's very personal. And everybody has a way that they like their coffee. 
Now, I have um, a Keurig at home, one of those single um, Keurigs. I'm the only one in the house that drinks coffee. Obviously, my son, he's five. Obviously, he's not going to drink coffee. But my husband doesn't, doesn't do coffee. So um, this came 10 for the price of $6.79. And I have seen these as low as $5.99, so things are going up a little bit. But I do love a dark roast coffee. Love it. Um, this is dark cocoa and caramelized sugar kind of flavor. Um, but if you like a dark roast and you've seen this or you haven't had it yet or you're not sure about it, delicious. Love it. It's it's so good. So good. Okay. Socks. I had to get some more socks. I do work out quite a bit. I know it doesn't look like I work out very much, but I honest to goodness, I do work out quite a bit. I do um, hit about three to five times a week. I usually minimum three and that's only if I'm very busy but I do try to get in at least five days uh, of exercise and it's just something that I do um, in my living room pull up a YouTube um, videos that I like I have a you know a handful that I really like and I just do them right in my living room these are the Skecher Active these are a crew cut as you can see um, $5.99 for the set of six cushion sole mesh ventilation moisture control and of course arch support so okay body wash okay so bliss body wash um this is was 5.99 i do like the subtle smell of this this is in the scent almond milk and vanilla so it's not too strong i have sensitive i have allergies and sinus issues so sometimes a strong scent can be very off-putting um but this is not bad so when my allergies are not acting up which right now they're a little okay clean um, it's planet friendly and no animal testing on there um not too many ingredients which is nice you know sometimes you'll get something and it's like the whole back is like all the ingredients you're like why does it have to be that many ingredients like what are you guys doing with vita shea blend vitamin b3 c and e it is sls sles free a couple of makeup items that i did pick up from tj maxx all right so i did pick up some false lashes these are the ardell in 814 C, do they have a specific name or are they just called 814? I think they're just called 814. Um, but those looked really, really pretty. Sometimes I like a false lash, like similar to this, where they're kind of spread out a little bit so that you can actually see, you know, the beautiful makeup that you put on your eye versus having some that are so closely milled together. Um, sometimes it kind of covers up that um, nice eye look that you have. But anyways, got that. Also, I found this. I found a pack of Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick. And it's actually what I am wearing on my lips or one of the things I'm wearing on my lips. So it came like that. They've got a color or Orchid Cotton Candy. Now, Cotton Candy is what I have on my lips. And then I lined it with this Bite Beauty um, lip gloss, which I did buy from TJ Maxx probably a couple months ago. They've been having these there, and I love them so much. I bought all of them in every color that I could possibly get. So um, fabulous stuff. It doesn't dry my lips out, which is crazy to me because everything dries my lips out but these yay sayer plumping glosses by bite beauty this one's in the color raspberry swirl they don't bother my lips at all um so anyways let me swatch some of these the one that i have on my lips right now is cotton candy and it's a bright bubblegum pink looks like that it's so pretty watch your phone And then with the lip gloss on top of it, this one's Orchid. It's Orchid. That's really pretty too. This one is Stargazer. Ooh, look at that one, huh? Nice. Oh, it's bright. And last but not least, looks like we got Plumeria.
nice. Very nice. So that little kit from TJ Maxx was $14.99. Also so got a picture frame from TJ Maxx. Looks like this, it's gold. You can put a five by seven in there. This is, feels like plastic, but I think it's glass. And you just lift it up, put your picture inside, put it back down. But isn't that cute? The gold. This was $7.99. Pretty, huh? Probably put a uh, school picture of my son. He just had his end of the year school picture. So he's graduating VPK. He's five, so he's an older kind of pre kindergarten um, because his birthday's in January. But, anyways, time flies. All right, moving on to the rest of the stuff that I got at TJ Maxx. So, these gel nail stickers. I love, 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 love. If you've seen these at TJ Maxx and you're not, you know, you weren't really quite sure about them. I find these to be so much easier than putting on nail polish. Um, the first time I put these on, um, it was a little trial and error, but really it, it didn't take too long for me to figure out what worked for me. So I have a good technique. If you guys want a tutorial on how I put these gel stickers on, let me know. I won't, I don't mind doing that for you, but, um, isn't that purple and the pink gorgeous? And these just, oh, just so pretty. So anyways, I got those. Those are $4.99 each. I've seen these at Walmart for almost seven bucks. So TJ Maxx is really um, a good place to get them from. Okay, who doesn't need plenty of outlets to charge your <laughs> tablets, phones? I feel like all houses in the future now automatically are going to come with outlets with these in them. It seems like a no-brainer to me. I always feel like I'm running out of space or I don't want to move like my cord from one room to another. Like I want to make sure like every room <laughs> has, you know, these. And it was $7.99 for this. And it just, it has a, you know, back like that. So you just put that into your, you know, socket and you got two plugs and then you've got for your smart devices. You can charge up. Okay, so here's the dry shampoo that I was talking about. Please really smell it. It's okay. The smell is fine. It's not like fabulous, but it's not bad. But it did work really well. Um, I used it like a few days ago, and um, it felt like it did clean up my hair a little bit, meaning when I touched it, I didn't feel like I was feeling a bunch of product. You know how after you don't wash your hair for a while, you, you kind of get like oil and you do get your product kind of build up. It all starts to kind of like come to the surface. Um, I felt like with this, it did clean it up a little bit. So this is from Pearl Essence. It's called Bombshell Refresh Dry Shampoo. Um, it says absorbs impurities while adding texture and volume to next day hair. Oh, for me, it's like next four day five day hair but anyways um but it I feel like it did do a very good job of absorbing my impurities I guess that's a good way to describe it um so I did get that that is this was $6.99 I feel well worth the price they had plenty other um brands there but for how many ounces is this eight ounces I mean it's pretty big made in made in Canada Okay. It looks like one more thing. Now I did. Okay. Seate London, um, uh, Miss Piggy lipstick. When I saw it, you know, just in here, I never swatch stuff inside TJ Maxx. Okay. You guys know, comment below. When you go to TJ Maxx and you're really excited about a product and you open it up and you see that it was all swatched and touched, it's like, I don't understand why people do that. Please don't do that. It's gross. Nobody else can buy it. They can't sell it. You put your dirty finger in there, you know, even if you just washed your hands, you know, your oils went into the makeup. Like nobody wants to buy that. So when I buy stuff from TJ Maxx, I just have to kind of take a chance on it. So this is the color 
and I thought, oh, it's a really pretty pink, but let's see, where can I put it? It's more of a very, I don't know how to describe it. On my lips, it looked like a bright berry. Um, I'm not mad at it. It's just, it would be for, it wouldn't be for like an every day, not for me anyways. Um, it would be for a very specific look. Um, but this was, um, how much were you? $4.99, made in Italy. I'd, I'd pay $4.99 for lipsticks made in Italy all day. Oh my gosh, I did buy two. I thought I put, <laughs> I thought I put, okay, two different occasions. I bought the same false lashes. Um, I thought I'd put the one that I showed you previously back in this bag and I was like, oh, I'm not going to, isn't that funny? Well, I know what I like. That's for sure. So anyways, so you guys, that was all the stuff that I bought. Ross, TJ Maxx, Kohl's, and Ulta lately. Um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. I'd love to connect with people, especially if you're from another state, if you're from another country. Let me know where you're from. Comment below. I will respond to your comments, and I love getting them. And tell me, whatever it is, you're like, oh, I like, you know, I have that same lipstick. By the way, I'm from, you know, California, or I'm from Africa, or whatever. Tell me, because I would love to know. Anyways, like and subscribe. I'll put my face here. I'll put some other videos up. You can click on my face. You can subscribe to my channel. I know I always forget to say that in the beginning of my videos. Please subscribe. Rookie mistake. I'm new to YouTube. I'll get it. I'll figure it all out. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.